Hello everybody, thanks so much for joining me for today's video. I'm gonna be going over my Sephora wish list, the products that I will most likely be purchasing during the upcoming VIB sale. It's right around the corner. It starts for Rouge, you guys get 20% off. I wish I was a Rouge, but I'm not. Um, that's from April 1st to April 11th. VIBs, which is myself, we get 15% off. Um, that's from April 5th to April 11th. And then lastly, the Beauty Insiders, 10% off. That's from April 7th to April 11th. So, um, yeah, I, I want to share with you guys what I want to purchase. Um, if you guys want recommendations, I highly recommend you watch my video. I just posted it not too long ago. The high-end products that are totally worth the money. Um, you can buy most of those products at Sephora. So those are my recommendations. Those are products that I love. I use on a daily basis. Um, so yeah, that's going to be right up here if you guys want to check it out. But without further ado, let's just jump into the video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that I want. I don't know if I'm going to buy everything, but this is what I want. So let's get into it. So let's start off with the foundation that I am dying to purchase. Um, and this is by Dior. I know, super fancy. I don't even think I own any Dior makeup, but this is the Dior Forever Matte Foundation SPF 15. It's $52, but um, the Taylor, who is now Taylor Wynn, she loves this foundation and all of the foundations that she likes and that I try I love them. So I think we're on the same foundation page. So I, if she loves it, I hope I'm gonna love it now. It is $52, so that's a little pricey, but um, I really wanna try it out. She raves about it, um, and I'm definitely gonna pick it up. It's a liquid formula, medium coverage, matte finish, hydrating, you got some F SPF in there, blah, and long wearing, so why not? I'm very excited. It's available in 42 shades. This new medium full coverage foundation visibly smooths skin and reduces the look of pores. It is transfer heat and humidity resistant, wow, and delivers up to 24 hours of color true wear and comfort sorry the packaging is recyclable and uses recycled materials that is awesome so this I am hands down purchasing without a doubt I also have two gift cards that I have not used because I've been waiting for this sale so this foundation it's already in my cart I picked my shade I'm so ready to purchase it Ugh, I am so excited to freaking try it out already it's I've been like waiting for this forever um, so that's my one foundation only one foundation I'm doing for this sale. Moving on to a concealer. This is by Patrick Star. It's his one size turn up the base butter silk concealer. This sounds so good. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about this. A lot of people love it. So I'm like, I'm, I'm ready. I want to try this out. Uh, it's $25. Not horrible. Um, and he has a ton of different shades. Says here it's full coverage, long wearing, vegan, best for oily combo normal skin, so best for everybody. Waterproof, cruelty free. So, so far I'm really liking it. It has caffeine, helps visibly depuff and support skin, okay. Avocado and mango butters hydrate and nourish to smooth texture. I'm liking it. And then exclusive peptide blend supports natural collagen to help improve texture. I am ready to try this out. Have you guys tried this? You gotta let me know. Is it good? Is it bad? I have dry skin, so if you've tried it, um, you gotta let me know how you feel about it. But I'm definitely purchasing this. This is like totally up my alley. I love to try new concealers. You guys know I'm like stuck on the Too Faced multi-use sculpting concealer. I love that. That's my favorite concealer, hands down. This hourglass one is really good too. I think I purchased this during a VIB sale, um, and I, I like it. At first I was like, oh, but now I love it. I have it on today, and it looks so good so yeah I don't know have you guys tried it is it good am I wasting my money oh. okay this next product I have been dying to purchase I actually tried to purchase it several times and it keeps selling out I've tried to go pick it up at a store and then I purchased it at the store like online and then they cancel my order because like I don't know they just I guess they didn't have any any left but this is the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez, Warm Wishes, Effortless Bronzer Sticks. I really, really want to try the one in Happy Soul. It's a light brown with cool undertones. It's $23. Um, I have been trying out kind of, um, not kind of, I've been trying out cream and liquid bronzers and blushes. Let me tell you, I'm not an expert at cream contouring and the cream blush and everything. I say this in a lot of my videos, but I'm not, but I want to get better because I know it's super popular right now. And I got to tell you, 
I feel like I like my bronzer a little bit more when I do cream contour. So I've been wanting to try like different products because I, I have the Charlotte Tilbury one, which you can't find. It's always sold out. I have the Wet n Wild contour stick. That just, I feel like it kind of drags on my skin, but I'm going to keep trying that one out too, just to give it another shot. And then I recently picked up the e.l.f. putty bronzer. I've heard so many people talk about this and I've only like I didn't want to pick it up because I really don't like using like a brush for a cream product. I feel like it's gonna like move my foundation around but I have been using this. This one is in tan lines with this brush by Real Techniques and it works perfectly guys. Like I used it today and I feel like my contour is perfect. Perfect. So I just want to try out new cream contours, uh, sticks or whatever. And the Rare Beauty ones apparently are good. And it's supposed to be very creamy and stuff. So I want to try it out. I also want to try out the M Cosmetics one because I heard that's really, really good too. But yeah, this is all for a future video. I don't know when. I'm going to do like cream contouring and cream blushing for dummies. <laughs> I am the dummy, okay? But it's going to be like a tutorial for people that just, you know, it's very hard to do cream blush and contour, you know? Is it just me that are that's having problems or what? Like, I feel like powder is so much easier and quicker. So, I don't know. But I am gonna... That's all in my head. I'm, it's a for a future video. So, I'm definitely buying this for sure. On the topic of cream products, Huda Beauty came out with uh, Cheeky Tint Cream Blush Sticks. And they actually look really good. They're very similar to the Wet n Wild packaging. But these look really, really good. And this color, Perky Peach, is totally up my alley. Like, I love a peachy kind of shimmer like that. They also have this, like, bright pink. It's proud pink. Um, a cool bubblegum pink. And then they also have Coral Cutie, which looks really, really pretty. They have a dark rebel red, a bold rust red and then a baddie berry a deep plum so they're $25 um, I really really want to buy this this is kind of like on the fence like if I'm in a shopping mood when I'm when when this sale comes around I'm probably gonna put this in my cart but I might skip on this I don't know I don't know how I feel yet I kind of want to try it out oh my god it's $25 so um, yeah I would definitely pick pick up the perky peach um, let's see what they have to say about it cream formula hydrating long wearing stick formula natural fr uh, finish fragrance free peachy extract and vitamin E provide moisture and a smooth application so um, this definitely sounds good a beautifully buildable cream blush that melts into skin gliding seamlessly over the complexion with a dewy hint of tint for major second skin vibes and a juicy glow. Okay, whatever. Um, so yeah, I, I might, this is on the fence, like I said. So I might purchase this, I might not, depending on my mood, but I'm, I'm definitely interested in that one. And then while we're on the topic of blush, Tarte came out with this freaking super cute blush palette. It is their Tartlet Blush in Bloom Amazonian Clay Cheek Palette. I don't know why they make these things limited edition. Like, I really don't. Like, this, I feel like, would be such a cool staple product. Am I in focus? Yeah, I think so. Um, but I saw this and I was like, I, I'm like a sucker for blush palettes, guys. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. Um, and when I saw this, I was just like, I need to get it. It's $35. And it comes with really three really pretty shades, Petunia, Wild Rose, Tulip. Let's see if they have like a little description of the colors. This palette contains three blushes for a fresh flush of color. Ugh. They have a weightless butter soft texture that glides on smooth and blends seamlessly. No harsh lines or clown cheeks. Ha, that's funny. I like that. Uh, the multi-dimensional shades add depth and definition and the buildable formula complements all skin tones. So yes, this is coming home with me. I, I'm definitely purchasing this hands down, even though it's limited edition. I love Tarte blushes. I have like a little limited edition set that my sister got me last year, I think, or the year before, and I love it. I use those every day for work. I don't really use them on my channel because they're limited edition and I don't want to use it and then you guys be like, oh my god, great, she's using products we can't buy, you know? Um, but I do like their cheek products, really like them, and I think $35 is, isn't bad for a nice cheek palette, so... This is definitely, I'm purchasing it. I'm blah, 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 what? I'm purchasing it for sure. Hands down. It's already in my cart. 
Okay, and then I'm moving on to a bronzer. So I have like decluttered a couple bronzers. I did like a little products um, I've used up recently or, or makeup products that I've used up and I posted that on my Instagram. It's a video. And I went through two bronzers and I just, you know, I really like bronzer. I bronze up every single day. I use a lot of bronzer. So I wanna try something new. And um, if you guys have a really good bronzer that you can get at Sephora, let me know your recommendations. The one that I want is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush matte bronzer it's 56 dollars. it's more expensive than the dior foundation so now i'm kind of i heard that this is like super big though am i wrong um so yeah i want to get the lightest shade it's fair natural soft bronze they have three other colors so four in total um refill available oh that's really cool a matte finish without sulfates sls and sles sles -E whatever pressed powder formula hyaluronic acid and vegan so yeah i like a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products, they are pricey, but I do like a lot of them. I feel like her eyeshadows, though, I don't know if I'm in love with her eyeshadow. Am I the only one? Um, so this one just looked really good, and I feel like that color would be perfect for my skin. Um, oh, here, an oversized natural matte bronzer in a refillable compact infused with hyaluronic acid for a skin-perfecting bronze filter for the face and body. When I put this in my car, I didn't look at the price. <laughs> so now that I said the price out loud, I'm kind of having second thoughts thoughts I don't know I also I'm also interested in the Fenty bronzers I'm pulling it up now because maybe that one would be better so this is the Fenty Beauty Sun Soccer Instant Warmth Bronzer. It's $34, so that's definitely a better price. She has nine shades, and they're actually it's it's actually a pretty good range. This one would probably be the one I would pick in the sun, and it's fair with neutral undertones. It actually looks really pretty. I actually am gonna put this one in my cart instead guys there's no way i'm gonna purchase that charlotte tilbury bronzer unless like you guys tell me it's totally worth the money <gasps> Ugh, the 56 dollars is a little steep you know this is like the sale where i go crazy with blush so i have two blushes left and they both just immediately caught my attention the first one is by bare minerals this looks so freaking good i've never seen this before it's their gen nude bronzer blush and bronzer oh no no i'm sorry gen nude bronzer blush and bronzer and all three colors are gorgeous like i don't even know which one i would want I'm thinking either Kiss of Copper or Kiss of Pink, I don't know, but they are, oh my god, all three of these are super pretty. The third one is Kiss of Rose, a bronze rose. <gasps> Guys, this is a freaking beautiful blush. Um, it is $25, of course. All of them are out of stock, so I really hope it, come, it comes back in stock for the sale, guys. I am going to be super upset. If, if it's not in stock, but it's a pressed uh, powder formula, excuse me, a, a vegan, fragrance-free, clean at Sephora, gluten-free, and this is like one of the products from Bare, like I feel like Bare Minerals, like they don't really catch my attention, you know, but this blush, <gasps> I'm like dreaming about it. This looks so good. It's a talc-free and vegan hybrid blush and bronzer in one that provides an effortless, effortless rosy, sun-kissed glow. The other blush that I'm just like, oh my god, this is beautiful, is by Melt Cosmetics. I actually don't have anything by Melt Cosmetics. It's their Digital Dust Duo Blush. And oh my god, it's so freaking cute. It's like a little honeycomb. There's a little bee. And it's $39, a little steep, but it's it's really, really pretty. The one that I would pick up is definitely, oh, what's this color called? It's um, Buzzkill Coral Nectar and Peach Champagne. The other two are really pretty too. This one, Queen Bee, a warm bronze and honey gold, I just feel like wouldn't work with my skin tone. It's still really, really pretty though. And the third one is Raw Honey, Mauve Bronze and a Pink Beige. Actually, this one, this one I think I can pull off, but the one that I want is um, Buzzkill for sure. It's freaking so pretty. I feel like it's so unique. Like this is totally, ugh, I just want it already. It's a radiant finish, which I like. Long wearing, without parabens, customizable, good for dullness, uneven texture, and vegan. A luminous, multi-use, revolu revolutionary blush duo in the coveted, skin-perfecting, digital bl dust. Oh my god, dust formula. I cannot talk.
I don't know guys, this really caught my attention and I feel like I can use the blush and then I can use a little peach champagne thing on its own But I can also mix I love mixing different things. So I'm I'm for sure getting this I'm so excited to try it out so those are all the products that I plan on purchasing. Um, there weren't any eyeshadow palettes that really caught my attention, but if you guys know of any that um, you're interested in, let me know, because then I might be interested in it too. You never know. Um, but yeah, if there's anything that's really, really good that I should try, please let me know. Please. I'm like dying for new makeup and stuff, and this is the perfect time. I have two gift cards. So you guys gotta let me know down below. I would really appreciate it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like my video. I would really Really, really appreciate it it would mean the world to me because my channel is suffering but that's fine I enjoy what I do it's a hobby for me so like I'm not gonna be super upset about it but if you do like my videos and um, if you just enjoy chilling hanging out with me then yes I would really really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe um, so yeah that's all that I have for you guys today thanks so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye